What's going on guys? I am back with another video. This time we're going over combos to play around hand traps. So I guess we'll get right into it. This first one is going to be your bread and butter combo. This is going to play around Nibiru. Um, this is going to play around Nibiru ultimately. Like you'll see this. This is like kind of insane. So I guess let's get started. And, um, well, I guess before we get started, I want to give credit to the first person that I saw use the one card combo that this is based on is Super Insane. So go check him out if you haven't already. Uh, he makes some pretty good videos, uh, does some combo videos, some deck profiles, stuff like that. So yeah, go check him out. Let's get started. So we're going to go ahead and normal summon Ash. Add Poplar, Poplar effect to summon itself, some uh, effect on summon to add original sinful spoils. So original sinful spoils is going to sit in our hand nice and pretty for a, a little while. And you'll see why. Um, because we don't want to end up sending sp uh, spells and traps to the grave. Because we don't want to shut off our super heavy stuff. So we're going to go Oak. Using the Ash and the Poplar, we're going to go Oak 1, Poplar 2 to chain block something like a Ghost Ogre. And then Poplar is going to put itself into a Spell and Trap. You're going to summon the Ash. You're going to go Oak, sending Poplar to summon the Flamberge. So at this point, yeah, this is five summons. So you're protected from Nibiru right now because if they go Nibiru right now, you get to summon two level ones. Um, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put Poplar into the spell and trap zone. The reason you're gonna do that is because once you link the Flamberge off, now you're vulnerable to Nibiru. But if you get Nibiru now, you still have your original sinful spoils to go ahead and send Poplar to the grave to summon your Fire King stuff um, and combo off from there. So. We're going to link both of our monsters off into the Sunlight Wolf. And then we're going to use the Flamberge to summon two back. Um, you could put it, put it under the Sunlight Wolf right now to further help protect you from Nibiru. Because you would add the Flamberge back. But um, what I want to do is add back the Oak. Because if I end up drawing into a, let's say, a Poplar or an Ash something that's just completely useless in my hand i think oak is just a better starter on the next turn so i would rather just uh use that as the as the destruction off of island later and you'll see what i mean so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna link off the oak into the link Karibo under the sunlight wolf and then i'm gonna proc the sunlight wolf to add back the oak and i'm gonna go into heat soul heat soul effect to draw and we ended up drawing into not one of those cards, but we did end up drawing into something that's in between level 2 and 7, which is extremely important, and you'll see why later. Um, because we'll actually add this to our combo at the end. And the fact that it's motorbike specifically can actually come up, but we're not going to do that in this combo. So, yeah, we're going to link off the Heat Soul and the Ash into the Appaloosa. That's going to be an Appaloosa for two. And then we're going to go into our Super Heavy Samurai stuff because we don't want to use the original Sinful Spoils before we start using our Super Heavy Samurai stuff. So what we're going to do with that is we're basically going to use it to just give us one more negate for our board. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use all of our stuff to go into the Soul Guy Booster and the Wakaoshi. And then we're going to synchro those off because one of them is a tuner the wakaoshi is a tuner into the boar load savage dragon we'll go boar load one wakaoshi two so if you notice our pendulum skills are one and eight that means we can summon any monster between two and seven so we are going to use that later because we did draw into something that's between two and seven also right now we're immune to nib plus effect failure or imperm, either one. So keep that in mind. A lot of people like to hold the Nibiru plus the imperm 
And that's actually, I've fallen victim to that so many times, thinking I was safe from Nibiru. And then, like, at the end of my turn, they're like, Nibiru. And I'm like, uh, sure, Appaloosa. And they're like, Effect Filler. And I'm like, oh my god, no way. So, in this case, you're protected from that. Keep that in mind. So we're going to go Original Sinful Spoils, send the Poplar. We're going to summon the Ponyx. Ponyx add Sanctuary. Sanctuary go into Island. Island pop the fire that we added before. But if this draw was something like Poplar or Ash, we would have just popped that instead and kept the Oak. We're going to add the Garunix and then we're going to activate the Garunix. And then at this point, we have a choice to make. So we could go Garunix, destroy Barong, and then use the Wakaoshi and the big and the Benkei to pendulum summon the motorbike and go into uh Barone de Fleur. And that way we have two Omni Negates plus the Appaloosa. And then we still have the Ponyx on the field, and we have the Barong in the grave, so that's gonna add us the Kirin. So we still have full Fire King combo. Um so what we're not going to have is going to be the Princess, the Amblo Will, and the Summon off of the Amblo Will, which in this case would be the Heat Soul. So it would be a draw and two pops. You're sacrificing a draw and two pops for Baron de Fleur, basically. So keep that in mind. But in this case, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to tribute off the Ponyx to go into Link Kariba, um, because we want to be able to summon that off of the Arvada. So we're going to destroy the Arvada off of Garunix and summon the Ponyx. And it is relevant that this is Arvada, because what we're going to do is we're going to go IP, and then at this point we're going to go ahead and do our Pendulum Summon, because once we have Princess on the board, we can't summon this anymore, so keep that in mind. Make sure you don't uh, go into Princess before you do your Pendulum Summon. Unless it's a Fire, of course. And then you want to go into your Princess. So, Princess is going to be able to summon your Arvada. And that's going to give you one more Monster Negate. So, then you're going to link your two Links off into the Amblo Wheel. And this is basically your end board. So, what you have here is Appaloosa your omni negate and savage and that's with two and that's with two counters so it also has 3900 attack which is pretty good you have your amblo will your arvada which is another negate so right now if somebody wanted to nibiru you they would have to have nibiru and three other effect negations because if they go nibiru you go appaloosa they go effect veiler on your appaloosa you go arvada they go Effect Veiler on your Arvada. You go Borload Savage Dragon to negate. And then they have to they have to do something with the Borload Savage Dragon to be able to then still nib your board. So this is a pretty insane end board. Um, taking nib specifically into account. But it also checks for every single other hand trap on the way. And I'm going to show you guys that in the next few combos. So we also have the Princess and the ip in the grave to summon off of the amblo will if we want to if we pop it off of arvada um, we could do that if we run sp we could do that to go into uh, potentially sp we also have the heat soul in the grave so even if we go go princess pop the amblo will we can go into heat soul to then draw another card and we also have the oss in the grave with all these snake eyes and stuff to to then recur on the next turn and we basically have full combo again on the next turn so now we'll get into the next combo, and that is playing through Ash. So in this combo, we're just going to have one Ash, um, and we're going to be able to play through the Ash. I know people think that Ash is bad against this deck, but it's not. It's really how you use it, okay? So I'm going to show that in this combo. A lot of people say... I'm going to hold Ash for the original Sinful Spoils, right? This is why that's wrong. Or even the send off of Ash. 
So let's say they ash you here. They ash you on the ash to summon, right? Okay, well, guess what? Poplar goes into the spell and trap zone. You go original central spoils to send it. You summon the, the Ponyx. You go Garunix. Garunix destroys Arvada. Arvada summons Ponyx. And then you go into the Hita line and you OTK them if you're going second. Or you build a board if you're going first. You go into your full Amblo wheel with the princess uh, in the grave. So, and then you also have Hita there as basically another defense because if they get rid of your Amblo wheel or if you pop it off of princess, you can potentially go into your Hita and then they have to get around that without destroying it. And if they destroy that, then you go Poplar and so on and so forth. And it's, you know, pretty, pretty good, pretty good. So always Ash, Ash on the summon of Ash. <laughs> so always Ash, the Snake Eye Ash on summon. So, and if you Ash the Poplar on summon, then you just, they just go Ash into the same combo. Except that adds Flamberge to the end board, I believe. Let's move on to the next combo, and that is going to be playing through Droll. So, in this case, we also only have one card. So, let's see what happens. We go normal summon Ash. They draw. We summon the Poplar. We send the Poplar off with the Ash to summon Oak. Oak is going to summon Ash. And Poplar is going to put itself in the Spell and Trap Zone. Oak is going to send the Poplar from the Spell and Trap Zone to summon Flamberge from the deck. Now you're going to go into IP and summon your two level ones back. You're going to go into Princess, summon back the Flamberge. Go into Amblo Wheel with the other two. And then put the IP into the Spell and Trap Zone with the Flamberge. So basically still full combo without the Fire King stuff. Let's move on to the next one. And that's going to be Poplar through Jewel. So Poplar basically ends on the same exact board. Um, the only difference is you have one less level 1 in the grave, so it is slightly more vulnerable to something like DD Crow. Keep that in mind. So we're going to go Poplar, add the original Sinful Spoils. They're going to draw us. We're going to go Link Karibo. Poplar into the Spell and Trap. We're going to send it off with the original Sinful Spoils to summon the Oak from the deck. Oak is going to summon the Poplar back. We're going to use Oak and Link Karibo to go into Flamberge, and then we're going to use the Flamberge and the Poplar to go into the IP Mascarina, allowing us to use Flamberge to then summon two back. You can see though, we don't have the Ash in the Grave in this case, so um, it is more vulnerable to DD Crow. Then we're going to go into Princess, summon back the Flamberge, Flamberge put the IP in the Spell and Trap Zone and summon the Amblo Will using the other two. And that's it. Basically the same exact combo as uh, if you got Ashed on Droll, as if you got Drolled on Ash. So yeah, let's move on to the next combo. So this is gonna be the combo if you get Drolled on Wakaushi. So this is, so this is not necessarily that good, but it is good to have because if you end up with just Wakaushi in your hand, this is your only option, so let's see what we can do. We're going to go Wakaushi to summon itself, Big Benke. We're going to add with the Soul Guy booster, and then we're going to get Drolled. Then we're going to equip the Soul Guy booster onto the Wakaushi. Summon it by its own effect. And then we're going to go into Baguska. So, this is Baguska off of one card. And then we potentially have hand traps in our hand, like you can see I have the Droll here. Um, we potentially have Valor, Ash, Ghost Bell, um, Nibiru, we run all that stuff. So uh, pretty dangerous if, if your opponent can't really play through hand traps too well. 
because then you can go on your next turn, switch it to attack mode, and just go full combo, and GG, well played. So I wanted to also point out that if you start with motorbike, and that is your only starter, that is the worst starter to start with when it comes to droll, because it loses to droll in every way. You can't even, like, there's, you can, you summon Wakaoshi, and that's it. That's the only thing you can do if you get drilled off of the motorbike. Unless you have something like an Arvada in your hand or a Barong, if you have some other level 4 in your hand, or if you already drew the level 4 super heavy samurai that equips itself, um, the Soul Guy booster, if you already drew the Soul Guy booster, then you can still go into Baguska um, because you do still have your normal summon. But besides that, you know, um, you typically want to not start with motorbike in any situation. So yeah, let's move on to the next combo. Alright, so I already did a video about uh, Shifter, but somebody commented on that video uh, with some really cool info that I think I should share with you guys. So I'm going to actually go through it and see what we can do under Shifter with these two cards. So this is always going to be your bread and butter combo. You know, this is going to be what you always want in your hand. So this is not uncommon to see at all. Um, you actually always want to see this and you're, you build to see this. So let's go. We're going to start. They're going to shift it right away, of course. Um, so we're going to say, okay, that's fine, I guess. We're going to go Ash to add the, the Poplar. We're going to go Poplar Effect to add the Divine Temple. Because Divine Temple can actually place the Oak... And then Oak can special from the Banish Zone. You'll see. So we're going to also do our full Super Heavy Samurai combo. Because we can do that under Shifter. So we're going to use the, the two level 1s to go into IP. And then we're going to use these two to go into Baguska. And because IP is a link, it doesn't really get affected by Baguska. So um, we can we can use it on our opponent's turn to give us another interruption. Then we're going to put the Divine Temple. We're going to place the Oak. And then on our opponent's turn, the moment they do basically anything, we're just going to go, oh, okay, you thought you were going to play the game? No, I'm sorry, that's not happening. Summon the Oak, Oak Effect, and then Oak will be negated if you keep the Baguska on the board. You use the Divine Temple when they summon something that can out the Baguska. And then what you can do is go Oak, and then Chain Link to IP, to then link off your four monsters into either Appaloosa, or you can also link off your opponent's monster into underworld goddess and then that way you have another very good negate so then at that point your oak can resolve and you can go into ash ash can resolve to add you either a starter or it can add you poplar to then poplar summon itself and then poplar can add you original sinful spoils so yeah, um, in this case, I would add Ash because I just want a starter for next turn. I still have basically every single card in my extra deck. So yeah, I think that's the best way to play against Shifter if you open those two cards and you get Shiftered. Um, that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys liked it, like and subscribe. If you guys got anything out of it, let me know in the comments below. Um, let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. You know, a lot of the things in this video came from comments like the poplar droll combo came from a comment so if i missed anything guys please comment and let me know anyways i'm out of here peace